let me show you how to swap out hairstyles using Generative Fill. Start off by selecting your existing hair. And for this example, I'm using the good old lasso tool to ensure I have extra room around my subject, just in case I want some wild hair. With our selection complete, let's try out a prompt. This dude looks like he needs a pop of color, so let's go with pink hair. After the generation completes, we'll have three variations to choose from. They don't look terrible, but I may want to influence the output with an existing image. So hopping back into Generative Fill, a reference image of a hairstyle can be uploaded, which combined with the prompt should give us results closer to what we may have originally envisioned. Here's another example. I've gone ahead and created a selection of this woman's long hair. And just like before, I'll jump into Generative Fill and start with a simple prompt, like purple and pink wavy hair. The results that we'll see from just the prompt should be pretty good, since Photoshop will try to harmonize with the subject. But we can also try uploading an image to push us a bit further in the right direction. But keep in mind that sometimes using a reference image that's wildly different from the original can lead to unexpected results. And that is looking pretty fun. Also, a very similar technique can be done using Generative Fill on the web, and if you're interested in learning how that's done, I've uploaded a video on my new Firefly channel you can check out. Thanks so much for watching everyone, be sure to subscribe for more content, follow me on social, and I'll see you all next time.